this is it? After Rome and Moscow, I was expecting something a little more... upscale. Stop being a smartass and go use the shower. That might be more tempting if you were here. In your dreams, Mike. find out more about this assassination attempt. Agreed. How are you going to go about it? I've got three leads to start with. This Stephen Heck guy seems like he knows what's going on in Taipei. He might be able to answer some questions. Be careful, Mike. I've checked my databanks, and I can't find any evidence that Stephen Heck has ever worked for the CIA. I'll be on my guard. There's also that anomalous data trail from Shahid's system. Any luck tracing it down? I managed to follow it back to a place in the warehouse district. I'm forwarding the address to you now. What's the final lead? Simple. Follow the money. Shahid was funneling large amounts of money to a front corporation for the White Oak Mountain Triad. I think I can persuade them to tell me why. Sounds like you've got everything figured out. That's just the kind of guy I am. Just be careful. Always. See the Red Lion. I'm a friend of the Sheik. Long sure. My name is Michael Thornton. I think you have information I need. I know many things. Most of them would be useful to someone, I'm sure. What is it you want from me, Mr. Thornton? I have no interest in bantering with an American cowboy. It upsets my digestion. Please, get to the point. Someone is planning to assassinate Ronald's son. You've been receiving transfers of funds from Shahid. I'd be willing to pay to see if these two facts are connected. Hmm, interesting. I admire a man who presents a business proposal clearly and succinctly. Mr. Thornton, a man in my position does not get to be a man in my position without knowing the value of a... Good trade. I can understand that. I suppose the question is what you need. Uh, some of my lieutenants seem to think they would do better without my loving guidance and gentle hand. They have set up shop in a disreputable part of town. Now, if you were to discourage them, I will tell you what I know. You don't even know me. Why trust me with something like this? Why not use your own people? My own people to these roads. You, on the other hand, look enough like an ignorant white old tourist that they might only mug you. Well, when you put it that way, it's hard to argue. All right, Mr. Hong. <laughs> I knew you would see the wisdom of this deal, Mr. Thornton. Uh, contact me again when my wayward children have been dealt with, huh? Oh, and Mr. Thornton. Yeah? Don't call me Mr. Hong. crime syndicate and not telling the truth? Gee, that's a stretch. Stretch or not, it looks like you're going to see some heavier resistance up ahead.
Interesting. What is? I just found a ten-page list of Triad members. How does that help us? I think it may be a list of all the defectors. You said ten pages? How many defectors are there? A hell of a lot more than Hong sure told us about. You better watch yourself, Mike. There's no telling what else you forgot to tell us about. My thoughts exactly. Friendly neighborhood triads have been dealing with Al Samad.
controls of the sluice gate. Should provide an interesting approach. Well, that's official. Red lion in my ass. More like red liar. Thanks for sitting down for this. What's one of the benefits of a desk job? According to this series of emails, the defectors aren't the one who killed Hong Shir's se- That's the last of the lieutenants. Good work. Head back to the safe house. I'll arrange a meeting for you with Hong Shir's people. I'm on my way. Wait a minute. Mike, satellite's picking up multiple individuals. Headed your way fast. Triads? Probably. They're armed like triads anyway. Um, Mina, I need you to look something up for me. Sure. What do you need? Exactly how many diseases can I get from walking in this? Enough to make you useless to a woman. You know just how to motivate me, you know that? is already humming with talk of your assault on the slums. Everything's taken care of, but next time, tell me your lieutenant's defected because you killed one of them as a warning. I did not feel you needed to know this, Mr. Thornton. Nor do my men. I trust I can rely on your discretion. Shahid was sending you large sums of money. What was it for? A man in my position has access to certain materials, Mr. Thornton. Materials that a man in Shahid's position finds very valuable. We had a long-standing business arrangement. You've already got the international smuggling contacts. You could secure shipments to just about anywhere an al Samad cell operates. Very astute, Mr. Thornton. You would do very well in this business. I did not sell weapons to Shahid directly. I was merely a facilitator. And how does that put you in a position to know about an attempt on Sun's life? I'm willing to provide my information, not my sources. Fair enough. Let's see it. As promised, Mr. Thornton. Here is all the information I have regarding this unfortunate business with Mr. Sun. A pleasure doing business with you. And with you, Mr. Thornton. Oh, there is one other thing. Beware of the man called Oman Dang. Oman Dang? Who's he? I'm afraid no one really knows. He is a powerful man in Taipei. And I have heard his name mentioned along with the rumors of this assassination. I'll keep my ears open. Thanks. Sending you the data I got from Hong Shur now. Receiving. Got it. Anything? According to this, the White Oak Mountain Triad was approached to provide security for a diplomatic exchange at a subway station on the Xingmei Line tomorrow night. Diplomatic exchange. What links that to the assassination plot? Hong Shur's lieutenants dug into the guy's background. Turns out, he was an NSV deep cover operative. After some persuasion, 
He let slip that he was working undercover to foil a major political assassination. Persuasion. Do I want to know? You really don't. That gives us a time and a place. Think it's enough to go on? Xingmei Station is pretty big. You could wander around for an hour and not find the exchange. You'll need to identify the package being handed off. If you can find a way to track it, even better. I'll well, see what I can dig up. I'll be in touch. Okay. Good luck, Mike. be what's drawing all that power. through. Must be a jammer somewhere. I'll have to bypass it. That's it.
This is definitely what's blocking the transmission. Bypassing it will be tough, but blowing it up isn't exactly covert. up with my PDA. Uh-oh. Albatross. It's been a while since Moscow. I didn't realize there was a G-22 cell here. That means we've done our job, Agent Thornton. The question is, what were you doing here in the first place? What's it to you, Albatross? I was just checking a lead, and the next thing I know, your glorified IT guys are crawling out of the woodwork. You've placed monitoring software on our servers. I want you to shut it down. I wasn't expecting to find G-22 here, but they sure didn't make me feel welcome when I arrived. Now you want me to do you a favor, right? Eavesdropping on our servers won't help you. I'm guessing you're looking for an al Samad and Halbeck connection. So, you're working with both. I should have known. We've been monitoring both al Samad and Halbeck, but are affiliated with neither. I'm afraid you'll have to take me at my word, Agent Thornton. Why would I take your word? I can search your servers now and find out the truth. If you access that data, I think you'll find it's more trouble than it's worth. Disable your monitoring software, and I will compensate you. I know why you're here. I can help you. Refuse, and you'll find you have few friends here in Taipei. I don't need friends. 
and I'd like to check out your databanks. And really, I don't do favors for my enemies. If that is your decision, Agent Thornton, so be it. I could have helped you with Song, but now, now, the next move is yours. That doesn't sound good. Hope it was worth it. You'll never guess who I just got a call from. Who? Albatross. Albatross? I didn't know G-22 had a presence in Taipei. Yeah, it was a shock for me too. I'm guessing he didn't call to chat. What did he want? I don't know. Something about a pizza delivery that never showed up. I think it was the wrong number. Mike? He asked me to shut down the bucks. Well, ask is maybe too generous. I told him to forget it. We need this intel more than we need friends like him. I hope you're right. So, what do we got? Not a lot. The network's already been wiped. It's like it never even existed. Somehow I didn't think Albatross would just leave a compromised net up and running. What did we get? It looks like the network was part of the shadow net G-22 uses to monitor global intelligence services. I ran a search for the keywords Ronald Sung and assassination and got a hit. Anything we can run with? I've got an email intercept indicating that the assassin will be receiving the details of the assignment tomorrow night at the subway station on the Xingmei line. That's not a lot of new information. It's something. Maybe if we can find a way to tap into the NSB's computers, we can narrow the search a little more. You could be right. I'll keep exploring my lead, see if something shakes loose. Anything else I might find useful? Not much. They wiped the network before I could pull down any more than a few subdirectories. I'll sort through it and send you an email once I've compiled it. Sounds good. I'll be in touch when I'm ready to move forward. Right. Until then. Well, in the back. With you in a sec, buddy. Not too uncomfortable, I hope. Now this, this is dry cleaning solution. Active ingredient is perchloroethylene. Get stains out like a champ. Like a champ when, believe you me. Steve Heck, I'm here on business. Agency. Sure, sure, business. be right with you. Oh, and you call me Steve again. Cut your thumbs off at Cigar Flippers, okay? So you remember where they are now, do you? Candy. Ah, that does it, Wen. You know I don't like sweet... Oh, the candy dish! That's right! That's where I left my keys. Should have said something earlier, Wen. You see what I almost made you drink? <laughs> Good old Wen. Always getting into antics. Anywho, what can I do you for? I like your style. Do any of the people you've interrogated know anything about an attempt on Sung's life? You've been in town for a while, haven't you? From what I've heard, you've been busy, busy, busy. Why didn't you come say hello when you arrived? Couldn't find the place? If I hadn't been with Wen here, I would have made the time to seek you out. Oh, I wasn't sure if you had what I needed to know. I know a lot about a lot of things. Like, for instance, did you know that in the 1960s, the CIA surgically jammed a mic and antenna into a cat for an op code named Acoustic Kitty? No, I've never heard that. Have you heard of anything relevant to my previous question? Oh, it's relevant. Just between you and me. And when. You're with the agency, am I right? Yeah, kind of. It's complicated. Say no more, agent. Mike will do, Steve. Steven. I'm an agent myself, you know. You don't say. Yeah, I work for a division of the CIA that doesn't officially exist. Super secret. They just kind of turned me loose and let me go nuts. Uh-huh. So, can you help me or not? Depends. How do I know you are who you say you are? I have to ask because, funny story, one time a salesman came in and I thought he was buying secrets about the German Chancellor's security detail. You don't hear about guys like me. Now, unless you'd like to end up like your friend here, I'd suggest answering my question. Okay, no need for violence. I'm a level-headed operator. Right, when? Then let's hear it. So, Ronald Sun, huh? Hey, did you ever notice his name's an anagram for lard on guns? Ironic, isn't it? 
Hey, yeah. And uh, considering that item posted a few years back in the Worldly Weekly about that pig fat being used as an experimental bullet toxin, not a coincidence. You might be onto something there, Mike. I'll look into that for sure. Ronnie Sung, Ronnie Sung. What do you want to know, Mike? Personal demons, pants size, political capital, sexual proclivities? Hmm? I've got some intelligence that suggests someone in Taipei wants Sung dead. You've got an ear to the ground here, thought you might know more. Political assassinations? Yeah, those are fun. One time I took out an entire soccer stadium just to kill the premier of Namidia. And did you know at 400 miles an hour, soccer balls can decapitate people? I didn't. But, Sung? Sure, sure. I can tell you this, Mike. There's a big conference coming up at the Grand Hotel. Sung's gonna be there, along with a few dozen EU bigwigs and the like. Any idea what they're meeting about? They're meeting about that little firecracker in Rome, how much it's helping the climate of fear rise a few degrees. But that's just a fact, not a guess. Emotional meteorology isn't what I went to school for. I didn't bring my conference pass, and I don't feel like waiting in line, unless it was worth my while. Taiwanese National Security Bureau is providing the security. You think those cats don't just have oodles of stuff on everybody who might want their boss dead? Hmm. Wouldn't be too hard to slip in and borrow some of that information. Knew that would appeal to you, Mike. Hey, give me a call when you head that way. I'd like to be in on this. You got it. Is this Scarlet? This is... Mike. From the plane, right? You remembered. You didn't give me a reason to forget. Heard you were in Taipei, thought I'd call. So, it takes me coming to Taipei for you to get back to me? In a city this big, I wanted to see a friendly face, since you were here. You figured I'd do. So, you're lonely? I suppose I should be flattered, right? That's not the reason I call, but if you want to be flattered, go ahead. I'm here in town trying to find out all I can about President Sung in the upcoming rally. Sung? Why? Is there something wrong? His life is in danger. Why do you think that? I have an inside source. He's a target and I need to warn him. I don't have a lot of friends here in Taipei. And certainly not ones with press credentials who can move freely. Can you help me? What did you have in mind? A little covert operation, if you're up for it. I might be. I'd need the details first. I'll fire them over, along with the location to meet up. All right, then. Talk to you soon, Mike. Everybody online? In position in the lobby. In position to rain death on my enemies. We need the NSB's threat analysis. What we don't need is to be added to their list. I want minimal confrontation and no civilian casualties. What are you expecting me to do, Mike? Bludgeon a wandering guard to death with a camera? Actually, that last part was mostly for Steven. Anybody ever tell you you're a real wet blanket, Mike? Steven, you're with me. There will be a map of the conference in the security office. You're gonna be my distraction. Can do, Mike. Would you prefer a hot distraction or a loud distraction? What's the difference? Hot distractions have more fire. Actually, I was thinking something a little less likely to cause a complete security lockdown. So, what? Hide the bodies? No bodies would be better. Yeah, sure. No bodies. Scarlet, I need you to stay in the lobby for now. Hang out in the bar, see if you can find me a lonely convention attendee. And do what with him, exactly? Prettiest face in Taipei? I'm sure he'll come up with something. When I was a little girl, I always wanted to grow up to be a honey trap. Thanks so much, Mike. I'll call you as soon as I have anything. What about me? You, I'm keeping all to myself. Um, okay. I'll just... I'll keep an eye on the security systems. Okay. Everybody knows the score? Then let's move out. Remember, people, this is our one chance to get this intel. Let's do it right. Good luck, Thornell.
You should mention that. Don't worry, it's all under control. Mike, what are you doing? Get anything useful out of him? Not much. Just his room key. He didn't happen to have an access pass for the elevators to the convention floor, did he? You know, funny enough, I think he did. That's perfect. You did great, Scarlet. One more little surprise for you. I managed to snap a picture of him. Seems like if security were told it was the face of a known sex offender. That would make a nice distraction for hotel security. Good call. Meet me in the restroom by the VIP suite. I'll give you what I have. On my way. Here you go, Mike. You're the best. I ever tell you that? You owe me for this. A big exclusive, or something. Thanks, Scarlet. I'll be seeing you, Mike. Hey, we've got Mike, I need... you've got two guards ahead, patrolling the penthouse floor. <laughs>
got the access badge and a floor plan of the hotel. Looks like the express elevator in the penthouse goes straight to the conference floor. Good work, Mike. The NSB is patrolling the area. If you watch their pattern, you should be able to find a gap in their patrol and move past without them seeing you. Got it. Hey, that's swell, Mike. Really great. Uh, you think you could do me a solid and find a file on the NSB servers for me? I guess. What file? Mine. It'd mean a lot to me. Uh, sure. I'll take a look. You're the best, Mike. Did you hear about that thing in the This is interesting. What is it? NSB file on Omen Dang. General description, basic intel. I'm downloading this. Anything of more immediate use? Some attempt at infiltration into his organization was made, and before the agent in question was killed, he was able to bug some important intel. That could be useful. You're telling me. Hey, Mike, you're not gonna go and do something like forget to wipe my file for me, are you? That last hack set off their system alarms. I do this, we might have to shoot our way out. <laughs> okay then, I'll get right on that. If I do this for you, do you promise not to make a mess on your way out? Sure, sure, Mike. You'll be spick and span, trust me. Ah, knew I should have brought extra bleach. Mina, the doors are locked. I need a new exit ASAP. I'm checking the blueprints now. Got it. There are some access tunnels underground. They should lead you right out. Where? The service area behind the reception desk. Go. On my way. So, uh, 
Mike, can you get around to wiping that file yet? Not, um, not yet, Steve. Steven. Okay, I'm at the elevator. You sure this will get me out? Positive. The elevator leads to those access tunnels. You can slip out before the authorities know you're gone. Got it. see you. I can see you too, Mike. Okay. What's on your mind, Heck? <laughs> Steven. Anywho, just wanted to drop you a line and see if all that carnage was worth your while. You get what you needed? Thanks to the NSB, I've got the transponder codes for the bug they planted with the assassin's orders. And thanks to my other leads, I know when and where that package will be. Hey, look at you with your clues and your spy satellites and your secret general nuking microwave guns. You're like a real spy. I don't actually have one of those. Really? Oh, they're great. Melt the balls right off you. Why, that's great that you got it all sorted out. You need any more mayhem while you're in town, you know who to call. Thanks. I'll be in touch. What's a nice guy like you doing in a town like Taipei? Still. I can't talk long. Just wanted to let you know I'm going to be hitting the Xingmei subway station later tonight. Might get messy. So Operation Turbo Panther is finally a go, huh? That's great. W Operation what? Oh yeah, I name all the operations that go down in Taipei. Even if they aren't mine. Operation Latex Turtle, Operation Angry Bees, Operation... Ah, <laughs> Yeah, that was a good Right. Well, anyways, I thought you should know, since Taipei is sort of your turf and all. Hey, glad to see you've learned your lesson, Mike. I appreciate the heads up. For a while there, I was afraid I'd have to disappear you. Disappear me? Are you really gonna force me to make a Hoffa joke? Because I could make some Hoffa jokes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll be in touch if anything else comes up, Thornton now. seeing anything. Are you sure we've got the right place? Everything we have points to here and now, Mike. Hold on. I've got a signal. It's on the move. About 500 meters west of your current position. What the hell's it doing over there? Mina? Mina! Portable radio channel. Very useful. Looks like you came prepared for anything, Agent Thornton. Not sure what to expect from me? How do you know who I am? You've made quite the impression in the intelligence community with your past exploits. A man with your versatility could be a great asset to many people, or a great hindrance. Omen Dang, I think you and I have business to sell. Agreed. But it would be on my agenda. I have things to take care of. Tasks I cannot allow you to interrupt. There is a maintenance door over there. Go inside. If you're gonna kill me, why not just do it right here? Eventually your body would be found and would spark a police investigation. That is a tension I would prefer not to draw. So, what now? You're going to stay put until my men have completed their objectives. After that, if you're as resourceful as I've heard, you'll have no trouble getting out of here. Charming. Just how I wanted to spend my night. We must all endure hardship for the cause we believe in. Mike, come in. Can you hear me? Sorry about that. Got interrupted. What happened? I just met the legendary Omen Dang, who locked me in a maintenance tunnel. I'm not going to ask. I see you. The package is still in play. It's on the move. At the next platform over. I'm on it. Hurry, Mike. There's no telling how much time we have. I've got company. So much for Dan's word. I don't know. Stay here. Let me go look down the hall.
come in handy if I need to take a shot. Closed. I need to find the control room. Remember, the security guards here aren't Chinese secret police. Don't start a dance off if you can help it. I'll be careful. The last thing we need is to get reported. Try to turn off those station cameras while you're at it. It's open now. Time to say hello to our friends downstairs.
He's here. You said this location was safe. Kill him. Mike, your target is on the move. Don't let him get away. Okay, I've got the disc. Let's see what Omen Dang knows. I'm patching into your system now. Oh, this is good. He's using elliptical curve encryption to mask the data structure. Oh, I love when you talk dirty about cryptography. Not the time or place. Fair enough. Can't blame a guy for trying. Any luck yet? Just bits and pieces. Something about the assassination attempt and riots at Sung's rally. Maybe to cover an escape or a secondary plan if the assassination fails. If Sung dies, the whole region's thrown into chaos. If Dang sets off those riots, it could end with a lot of people dead. Let me know when you have more. Will do. Uh-oh. This... this is not good. What's wrong? There was a hidden security protocol on the disk. When I tried to access it, the disk started reformatting itself. Don't panic, Mina. Just work around it. You can do this. Mike, this format is running too fast. I can maybe decrypt one of these files before it wipes the disk. Damn, which one? It's your call, Mike. But you better make it fast. Sun is the primary objective. If he dies, the entire region is destabilized. Got it. That's it. Whatever else was on that disk is gone. No chance of recovering the rest, huh? I wouldn't count on it. But at least we've got something. Yeah, I just hope we made the right call. And so we come to the events in Taipei, Agent Thornton. Yeah, Taipei. I understand you spoke with Stephen Heck at some point. Heck doesn't like to feel that other agents are encroaching on his turf, does he? He's very territorial. You left out bad shit crazy. Even so. It was Heck who provided you with information about the conference at the Grand Hotel, wasn't it? Do you even need to ask? Not especially. You took a very direct approach to this operation, didn't you? There were several civilian casualties. You know what they say about omelets and eggs. 
You're becoming a real estate agent, Thornton. Heck wasn't the only dangerous contact you made in Taipei, was he? You're talking about Hong Shur. Making deals with triad bosses isn't the best way to guarantee a long and healthy life. Operational intel isn't exactly overflowing. I needed information, and I needed it fast. Nevertheless, your one-man crusade in the slums kicked the Taiwanese security forces into high gear. You may have done more harm to Hong Shi's organization than you realize. And then you met the mysterious Omen Deng. Deng got the drop on me. He was good, I'll give him that. But at the time, you still didn't know what his role in all this was, did you? You mean... We'll get to that later. Faced with the choice of which information to save, you chose... I chose the information that would save Sung. Why? Sung dies, he becomes a martyr for the independence movement. A bunch of supporters at a rally die, it's a PR fiasco. Not a tough call to make. I see. That's a very pragmatic strategy, Agent. I made the best choice I could, given the options. But it didn't turn out that way. Did it? You must be Agent Thornton. I understand you have some important information for me? Yes, sir. I've learned about a plot to kill you during the rally this week, and to use your death to spark a massive riot and destabilize Taiwan. This is a troubling development, Agent Thornton. If it is true... You think I'm making it up? Let us just say I would like to hear the whole story before I make any decisions. A man with my political views lives with threats every day. If you can present me with compelling evidence of this plot, I will take action. The evidence I acquired was partially destroyed. Without proof, I'm afraid there's little I can do, Agent Thornton. What evidence do you have? I have proof of the plan to assassinate you. That's all. Then the riots are merely your conjecture? No, sir, Mr. President. Both threats are genuine. Please, for your safety, cancel your appearance at the rally. Canceling the rally at this juncture would do considerable harm to my cause. I am afraid it is out of the question. Then at least take extra precautions. Wear body armor during your speech. Post extra security something. Give me your evidence, Agent Thornton. If my security chief concurs that the threat is credible, I'm sure he will insist on my wearing a vest during the speech. But the if riots... I have security silenced dissenters in the crowd, I look like a petty dictator. I am sorry, but without hard evidence, I will not send that message to my people. Here it is. Please, be careful, Mr. President. Thank you for your concern, Agent Thornton. I will not forget your service here. How'd it go? Oh, could have been better. He didn't listen? I gave him the evidence on the assassination plot, but without proof of the riot phase of the plan, he refused to place extra security in the crowd. What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to crash the rally, take down the assassin, and defuse the riots before any shots are fired. Piece of cake. Great. Piece of cake. Mike, how did it go with Sung? About as well as could be expected, considering. He was actually a lot more reasonable than I would have been. Did he believe you? He believed the assassination plot, but refused to take precautions against the riots. So, he didn't believe you? No. You tried, Mike. And helping you out? Well, you certainly keep things interesting. So, you didn't mind the risk. Are you kidding? The worst part was trying to stay interested when a Halbeck executive is talking to you. Let me tell you about Westridge sometime. Are you planning to stay in Taipei then? Now I am. That is, if you think I can help, Mike. I don't know what I can do, but... You've been a big help so far. I couldn't have gotten to Sun without your help. You're right. But I was glad to pitch in. I'll try to gather what I can from my contacts, Mike. Until then... If I need any more help, I'll let you know. Thanks for everything, Scarlet. Good luck, Mike. And good luck with Sung.
Looks like Dang's men already made it here. How's that satellite uplink mean? Working. And you're right. Satellite imaging shows Chinese secret police all throughout the parks. We're a little late. Steven, what's it looking like near the stage? It's a madhouse over here. But not in that fun, violent way. This should be interesting. I hope our friends actually show up on time. Could use the help. You better hurry, Mike. Sung's giving a speech in less than an hour. Those explosives are controlled from here. Some of Hongshur's men are pinned down outside the gate. You might want to help them out. There you are, about time. I wouldn't rush in if I were Don't we have a gate to storm? That usually involves rushing of some sort. Got some serious hot oil over there. Try not to get us all killed, all right? Where are you hiding? Who the hell loves death cannons to a pop? This dang is crazy, Mike. That was fun, but I have a feeling more coming to join the party. Go on ahead. We'll hold out things men here. You'd better shut the gate. Ready 
for a little show, Mike? Pretty. The noise from those fireworks should cover the sound of gunfire. You might be able to use that.
Sun's coming onto the stage. It's a straight shot from where you are. I didn't think you were one to hide, dang. You're missing your big opportunity. Show yourself. No. You're in over your head. Assassin. Dang into our connection. Can you give us an update? Reports are still sketchy, but the news is saying Sung survived the attempt. He was wearing a bulletproof vest thanks to a tip from an anonymous source. He survived? I'm glad the information I passed him did some good at least. says, Steve, I got a proposition for you. I always figured VCI as the offer you can't refuse types. So after I pop three of his fingers off for calling me Steve, I say, and what proposition might that be, my good man? Heck. This guy says to me, oh God, please don't kill me. I just came here to offer you five million dollars to give Michael Thornton up as Ronald Sung's assassin. You didn't. These guys really seem to hate you, buddy. And, well, I'm um, not too fond of you either. So I figured, what the hey? Enjoy your 15 minutes of fame. Searching for American citizen Michael Thornton in connection with the attack. Government sources have told INN that Thornton, an alleged rogue agent of the U.S. government, is considered armed and extremely dangerous. Well, that's gonna make getting out of Taipei tricky. Better get moving. <laughs> <laughs> 